Um, all right, there we go. So that should be working. I'll wait for that to come on. Um, let's see. It's officially seven o'clock here on the East Coast. Let's see. Okay, one more second. I think we're starting. There we go. Okay, we'll start back to this. Okay, I'm gonna, um, let's see. Um, okay, I'm gonna share my screen real fast and then and then we can start. So welcome everybody. Let's see, how do I share my screen? Every week it's a new, <laughs> it's a new, a new me coming to figure out how to how to run this thing. All right, everyone. <laughs> anyway, welcome everybody. It is Friday evening here on the East Coast of America, and uh, it's Friday afternoon on the West Coast. It's um, probably uh, wait. What does that make it? Really early in Hawaii on Friday. So I hope they're okay. It is really early tomorrow morning. I I'm already losing track. It's really early tomorrow in New Zealand and. Australia. Anyway, wherever you're coming from, welcome. We call it Friday Night Workshops. It's the Friday Night We Believe in Comics Workshop at the Sequential Artist Workshop. Welcome. Um, you can find us at learn.sawcomics.org. We're a 501c3 nonprofit that is into teaching you and other people how to make comics and supporting your comic making. Um, again, you can find out more at learn.sawcomics.org. We have um, some things coming up. Our big Year-long comic certificate program starts in September, and you can find out more at uh, sawcomics.org. And also next week in this spot, we'll have Finn McCabe doing uh, a workshop about animals. Who knows what that's going to be like, but but uh, there you go. Okay, um, let's see. These are testimonials about the year-long program. You can ask us more if you are interested. We love to answer DMs and stuff like that. Um, in person in Gainesville in October, Tommy Parrish is coming to teach art comics for a week. That's going to be awesome. So I hope, and it's also a really nice time to be in Florida. It's, it's really, the air is really nice and everything. So come down, come on down to that. You can find out more. Uh, thank you, everybody who donated to either this workshop or any other workshop or any other method. We survive from tuitions and donations. It really helps uh, pay the artists, helps keep these things free. Um, there are lots of ways you can support us. There are some things on the screen. You can become a member, a donating member. Um, and there, I'll put some of that stuff in the chat. So, all right, we're about ready to get start. And please, no inappropriate speech or imagery, no trolling or hate speech. Please keep it PG-13. We didn't have any kids last week, if I remember right. But the previous week, we had three. It was super cool, especially when they share. Anyway, uh, you can also share what you do tonight. We love to take a look. Uh, if you use the hashtag Friday Night Comics, you can tag us at Comics Workshop. Uh, we'll put Summer's tag in the chat. Um, and also you can come over to members.sawcomics.org and find out and find other people sharing their work too. So enjoy. Yay, Summer Pierre is here. Summer's got a newish website, right? Because there are like mm -hmm. two Summer Pierre websites. Okay. And I think this is the newer one. Okay. I was pretty, pretty sure about that. Yeah. Also, um, there is Summer's Instagram. And we, again, we'll, we'll, post uh at summer.pierre we'll post more of that in the chat i'm going to stop sharing um okay and i'm also going to you're, you're about to get really big for everybody there we go yeah oh my god creepy. <laughs> summer, welcome thank you for being here and everyone likes or everyone loves all the sad songs and we know <gasps> we're working on something new and we want to hear about that yeah me, while i have one of my post-covid costs <clears throat> excuse me okay um and anyway, so and so we really want to hear about what you're doing, and we also want to we want to be in your in your uh, your your wise hands. So here we are. Here are these hands. They're wise. <laughs> they are. And I'll be in the chat, just sort of summarizing anything you say that helps people who like to read things. But mm -hmm. otherwise, I'll be sort of I'll blink out, and um, if you need me, just holler. Okay. Awesome. Um, well, I'm Summer Pierre, and uh, I'm a cartoonist. And I think I'm in the right place because I'm with Saw. So that's, I've always wanted to connect with Saw. So this has been a real pleasure to be here with all of you. Um, as Tom said, I am the author of All the Sad Songs, um, which actually started as a list, a list of mixtapes and grew into a memoir totally by accident. 
So, ha. Um, and I also do a series oh. called Paper Pencil Life. Um, and that has a lot of my diary comics and sort of short autobiographical stuff and lots of list comics are in this series. Um, I have a new issue coming out next month. I'm so excited because it's been two years since I've been able to publish one. And I have a Patreon, all those things, all the comic things. Um, but uh, yeah, and I'm working right now on a massive new book. Um, it's a 300 page uh, memoir about my mother who was uh, a stagehand in the rock and roll industry for 30 years. And um, that's coming out from Fantagraphics whenever I get that done. <laughs> uh -huh. um, it's full color, so it's taking a lot longer. It's, um, it's quite quite the endeavor, but um, that's what I'm working on right now. And other than that, I live in the Hudson Valley and it's a beautiful evening and I am obsessed with birds. Um, so I'm a birder and lists are a big part of birding. And I think when someone yeah. described that, yeah, exactly. When someone said, oh, there's lots of lists with birding. And I was like, wait, a hobby with lists? Go on. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there's many different lists with birds. And uh I think some of us, me included, um, are more prone to lists than others. Um, but those who live with list makers, they know who we are as well. Um, <laughs> but uh, list comics for me, I'm just going to bring up so I can do this without too much. One second, share screen. Does that work? Let's see. Let's see if it does. Good. Yeah, looks like it. Is that right? Okay. Um, okay. So let's, should we make it bigger? Or can you guys see if the full screen, I can't tell. Can you make it bigger? Yes. Yeah, let me try to do it. Okay, let's slide. I'm so rookie yep. at this. Okay, can you see it now? Great. That's great. Okay, awesome. So let's talk about list comics, which are totally my favorite thing, uh, my easy go-to. Um, whenever I'm stuck, I go to list comics. And I think one of the reasons why I am drawn to them is that um, they just have a natural affinity with comics. I mean, what lists are in general is just organized thought. In some ways, that's a great definition for comics also, mm. <laughs> is organized thought, because there's a grid that um, sort of takes your random thoughts and makes it into a story. There's something organizing about the grid. Um, so uh, one of the things I wanted to show you um, are some of my favorite list comics, uh, just as great examples. Um, this this is not my favorite. This is one thing that I did. So like I said, I, I do list comics a oh, lot. That's so cool. Thank you. Um, this one is literally just, I sometimes will challenge myself and uh, if I'm out of ideas, I'll go focus on something really small and specific. And it was an afternoon where it was raining and I just decided to listen to all the things that I could hear. And, um, and so this is literally just a list of sounds um, that I could hear on a rainy day. And uh, it, one of the things I love about list comics is that there's all these little small things, but they add up to something more. Um, this is one that I shared on social media for this, this course. And this is, again, I just like cataloged, um, thoughts that I had every day. There's nothing more repetitive than anxiety. And so, uh, that's what this is. And it ended up by accident being a portrait of a day, um, so this is one, and this is a diary, an early diary comic I did. Again, it's like, you know, something really specific, uh, listing specific things about something general. Uh, so signs of early fall. And, you know, there's the cliched versions, which are, you know, the leaves are turning and all of that stuff. But like, how do, what are the things in our lives that are specific? And this is one of the things I like to do is really hone in on environments and, and observation. Um, and catalog them. So this one I thought I'd throw in. This is um, another great list thing. I did this for the very first workshop I ever did. I <laughs> um, was how to prepare to teach a comics workshop. Doing recipes or how-tos is another great way to do a list comic. You literally just break down a story into steps um, and have the last panel be the result. Uh, that's also another great format. Um, but these are some of the masters that I love. Matt Groening, um, 
his life and health series is basically 75% lists. <laughs> um, he's a master of it. And you can see, you know, I like what some of the things he does, um, like the doing specific numbers, you know, the nine types of boyfriends. He also had the nine types of girlfriends, the nine types of re relationships. Um, but uh, yeah, he's very, there's a lot of words in his, but he, he's also a great example. Um, Heather McAdams is one of my great favorite list maker comics um, cartoonists. She does amazing autobiographical stuff. Um, and this is like literally just a list of, of, of regret. <laughs> so I love that. I love that um, she recorded. It tells me so much about who she is as a person. It's funny. It, it hits my empathy. Um, it's just a really great way to tell a story. And she does that often with autobiographical stuff. Um, here's another thing that there's nothing I like better than, and it's all about like random pleasure she has. And again, just listing these, you know, in, in another form, it would be really random, but it, it's focused under this sort of, um, you know, her title and you just find out a lot about her collectively with these, these images. Um, and then, of course, there's Linda Berry, the goddess of cartooning. Um, let's take a moment, mm -hmm, Linda Berry. Um, she uses lists all the time. This is from her comic series, um, you know, Ernie Pook's comic, and Who Are the Dogs? And these are just li a list of dogs. And I'm sure some of them are based on actual life and some of them are made up, but they're all... Um, but just listing that with the names and the descriptions, again, it's so specific about something general, dogs, um, but it's like they're so familiar to us as a result, this collective image of them, and they're hilarious. Um, this is another one that she did that I loved. Um, there was a week of comics she did all about bugs with her main character, Marlis, talking about it. But this is one of the things I love about this uh, list is that it doesn't, it uses like a familiar um, context or a, a kind of list that in a culture we know, like student polls, you know, like popularity contests in school, but she did it with bugs. And, and so like, there's all this knowledge of her love of bugs in it, but like, it's done through this lens of um, popularity contests, like cutest nymph, you know, cutest couple, biggest flirt, the firefly. I just think that's an amazing way to sort of categorize bugs, um, but also make it deeply human. Um, and then there, are, of course, the master of list is Roz Chast. Um, one thing I'll say is uh, the New Yorker is filled with list comics, um, especially online. I think you had um, Dana Mayer, is that how you say her last name? Uh, she was here a couple of weeks ago, wasn't she? And she did museum yeah. comics. Yeah, yeah. She does wonderful list comics and in her shouts and murmurs, she just did one called like, I think it's called the seven types of procrastination, but um, it's a great humor. And Roz Chaz is like, to me, the goddess of the New Yorker. Um, she's been doing lists forever, but one of the ways that she does it, except for this various highway lights and their nicknames, um, which is a very early comic. And I just love that. It's like, she looked at highway you know, lights and was like, that one's tippy, you know, it's just like, it's just a way of sort of random information put together. It just works. But she sort of, um, all of her work is about observation, but what she does instead of doing a straight, um, a straight list is that she repackages it in like books and she does and in common lists. Um, and that's also something that you can do again, like Linda Berry's student poll, like, the context of the list and the language of the list can change um, if you put a, a kind of list that we're familiar with, like, um, you know, this one's like a, a, a um, titles list in a, in a publication catalog, but there's also, um, you know, bestsellers lists and um, there are, I don't know, I'm blanking, you know, grocery lists. What if you did a comic on grocery lists on uh, Hall of Fame? Uh, roll calls, you know, all of these are lists that we're familiar with in life. And it, you could do a comic using that format. Um, it adds a, another layer of humor and context. Um, here's one that she did that I loved, which is clearly about something her own seven-year-old said. So it's just a, a list of quotes from her seven-year-old and just through the language of her own art, 
Um, but collectively, it's it's just sort of hilarious to hear all of these things. And again, one of these panels by itself would be okay. Okay, that's fine. But as, collectively, they're just kind of amazing um, together. Um, and now the final one I'm going to show you is like one of my favorite uh, comics of all time, you know, list or not. And this is by um, Charles Adams. And one of the things I could spend so long talking about this comic because it has haunted me since I was a little kid when I first uh -huh. saw it. Um, it just like, and there's still things that I see in it when I look at it. And one of the things that um, Charles Adams is amazing at his punchline um, in his comics is worry, is always worry. You know, either the character in the comic is worried or if they're not, you are worried reading the comic, you know. And uh, this one is an unusual one for him because he did its sequences so he doesn't normally do that. But this is literally just a list of responses um, to a sound and it's seven responses to it, which is amazing. Um, it barely has a punchline. I think the dog thinking it's a, the, I think the cat thinking the dog is coming in was the punchline, but it's just sort of like, you're like, okay. And even the cat looks a little bit like a dog. It's just like, there's, there's a lot in, in this comic. Um, and it was only recently that I realized this is actually one house because, uh, yeah the woman with the towel is a maid. I just realized that looking at this comic and I've been looking at this comic for 45 years. So like, it's amazing how these little details keep on going. But one thing I wanted to point out with this list is that unlike the other ones, um, this has very few words. Um, this is entirely visual except for one thing, which is the title. Um, and I love that it's just simply the creaking shutter. And that's it. And so what that does is evoke sound in the reader's ear um, or in the, the mind, basically. And uh, it's there's this lovely, quiet creepiness to it as a result, um, which is, he's sort of a master at, of course. But it also tells me something else about list comics, which is the narration of a list comic starts at the title um, without a title we're sort of unmoored and that's that's true for lists too we don't like if we come upon a list we're like what is this for you know it was some random i loved when there was found magazine does anybody remember found magazine um which was just all objects people found on the street or whatever and there were so many strange lists in that in that magazine and out of context you're just like what is that um but because comics depend on narration um, and I love that this comic doesn't have any other narration except for the images responding to that title. And so the title is really where the story began um, when you read this comic. And it's an important reminder going forward with uh, with with list comics. Um, so these are all ideas that I love. That's the last one I have. Um, but basically, you know, List comics are just a visual catalog of observation, experiences, nouns, jokes, thoughts, or all of the above. Um, and in some sense, the, you know, their purpose is really about cataloging life, you know. Um, and in fact, when I wrote down that note tonight to remind myself to say it, I was like, oh, my God, you know what a great list would be? Would be called Life on Earth. <laughs> and you had like a nine panel comic where you had examples of life on Earth, you know. And that could be random. In fact, maybe Roz Chaz has one that says that. I don't know. Um, it sounds like a Roz Chaz thing to do. Um, but it's about taking something general and giving very specific examples too. Um, and it's an easy thing to slip into. Um, you can, I use it all the time for diary comics. Um, for all, for any of you who are doing diary uh, and, you know, if you do it on a regular basis, you sometimes like nothing happens or you get blocked or whatever. When that happens, I usually do what I do with the rainy day comic, which is like, I just say, okay, what's here. And um, I use, you know, observations and uh, sensory experiences. And I just write a list of things of what's here. Um, so I think that that is where I would love to begin. Um, I would love it if you got a piece of paper or an iPad or whatever you have, but this is, we're not going to draw just yet. We're going to make a list um, because the, the best way to learn is to do. Um, 
And so if everybody, I'm just gonna give everybody a second. And I think, so I would like you to write a six item list um, on things that give you pleasure or make you happy. This is a great way to start. Um, and I'll give you a couple of minutes just to do that. Uh, I'm doing it myself. Just little things that make you happy. They can be random, they can be whatever. Um, and just six items. All right, give you another 30 seconds and then if you're ready. All right. Bear in this for a second. It's making me distracted. See where everybody's dealing. Okay, give you another five seconds. And now let's just simply draw a grid of six boxes. Um, I do them vertically. You can do them horizontally. There's no wrong way to do it. Magic. Amazing, right? <laughs> um, and now take each item on your list and label uh, label each box with one and put it at the top. So I'll do it. So it looks something like this. All six boxes we're finished. We're filling it yeah, up. Filling in the whole thing. Thanks. <clears throat> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. So it looks something like this. When you're done, all your little items of happiness or pleasure. Mm -hmm. Um. Don't write a title yet. Good question, Michael. Um. Don't write a title yet. But yeah, leave a room for title. Uh oh. But don't do. Oh, Tom, did you do it? No, it's just I, that was more an uh oh, something clever is coming. <laughs> don't do it yet. <laughs> and so um, as you're finishing that up, so now we're going to actually fill them in and draw them with the image. But one of the things I want to emphasize is make them as specific as possible. Like if you said something general, like I love the rain, show yourself enjoying that. Are you saying something? Are you think, do you think something? Um, allow for little details to come in um, that makes it specific to you.
So fill in each panel with an image, be yes. as specific as possible. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be as specific as possible. All right. Summer, can you hold yours up again? Yep. No pictures yet. Um, well, I'm actually doing it bigger in my journal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just the example. I'll show you. I'll show you mine when I'm done. Definitely. Awesome. Thank you. Michael's made me all anxious. I want to put a title in, but I know that I'm not supposed oh, to. Oh, you're so, it's okay. It's okay. Got to Just got to relax. Yes, let the process happen. I mean, you're welcome to put a title in. There's no rule, but.
How's everybody doing? Drawing away. I love this. I love seeing. All these happy heads, all the happy tops of people's heads. I know. It's like, oh, I got to draw that. Everybody's happy head. <laughs> happy. Linus, you done yet? Yeah. <laughs> Is anybody yeah. stuck? I'm just curious. Is anybody stuck with this? Everybody still got it? Yeah, I'm not getting any complaints in the chat. Okay. Good. When you do this summer, do you sometimes kick yourself? You're like, oh, I put it in the wrong order. Yes, of yeah, course. Of course. Um, and that's part of the practice of lists because the order is interesting because it can actually change how it's read, right? Mm -hmm. um, but like, I think one of the things that I love, and I'll show you my example, um, because it happened that the practice of making lists regularly, you kind of get into the rhythm of them. Um, so it becomes about trusting your list. 
mm. and realizing which one. That's why I always write the list first. And then I do the comic second because I can move things around. I think of some other famous list makers. Yeah. Do you have any favorites, Tom? Rick Geary. Do you remember Rick Geary? I don't know. No. Um, I'm writing them down. He would sometimes get a little surreal in the lists. A lot of times it would be just ordinary things you'd see in a house. But then when you look again, you're like, these aren't ordinary at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, he came out of Nash, uh, National Lampoon, but he he did all sorts of other things. Um. It used to really bother me in Seth's comics. Every once in a while, I'd be like, oh, he's just making lists. And then I realized like, oh, wait, no, that's kind of nice. You know, <laughs> I almost included him. Yeah, because yeah. there's a couple examples. Um, there's one I couldn't find, which is, I don't know, maybe you've seen it, but it's a house. And then it has all the things that are inside it or uh, listed around it. It's kind of this, I'm like, is this a comic? I don't know. You know, yeah. like it's, nice. it's sort of, it's beautiful. But you just told us, I wrote it, wrote it down. You said that lists are organized thought and that's what comics sure. are. That's so, right. That's true. So they, clear. Oh my God, I'm eating my words. <laughs> Things I shouldn't say at a workshop. Thank you for that list idea. Yeah, I forgot to include Bill Griffith. He does it a lot in Zippy. Right. Um, right, right. Those are very surreal. Bill says uh, XKCD does some, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shelly Bond says Rick has classic adaptations. Is that Shelly Bond from DC? Hi, Shelly. It's cool. um, I haven't seen XKCD in a while, but I assume it's still coming out. Perfect format for paper. Yeah. That one, uh, that one of Linda Barry, who are the who are the dogs, is, is so classic. Like ev everyone I know who's read that once repeats it pretty much like a couple times yeah. a year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, one of the comic ideas, uh, one of the list ideas, I was going to have us all write uh, down all the um, pets we've known. You know, six pets that we've known because there's a that's a perfect. You know, her dogs is such a great example of like animals that we've personally be in contact with have so much information oh yeah Gemma yeah she does so many lists <laughs> it is great rain in the dark mm -hmm. I know I have a couple night things in here and I was like oh this is a lot what do we do with the title? I'm still sitting on all this anxiety about the title. I know. Okay. Well, I'll let, so since people are still drawing and it, we can still do it so that we could title this, you know, things that make me happy, mm -hmm. um, pleasures, you know, but like, I just wanted to open it up. It's not that, it's not that revolutionary, but um, knowing that the narration starts with the title, um, it's something mm. you can have fun with. And uh, how does it even change the narrative if you, you know, um, I realized that so many of the things that I, I put down in here, I didn't mean to, but they're all summertime things, you know, mm. so they could be like pleasures this summer or like things that make me go, ah, you know, or, you know, it just opening it up. And like I said, nothing wrong with things that make me happy or things that give me pleasure. Um, but it, I just wanted to give the opportunity to maybe um, play around with that because that can actually change how the comic is read be the creaking shutter exactly right <laughs> it could be that oh, and be like boy. wow what does this mean <laughs> exactly exactly so michael ashner there's your answer oh do you also use an unreliable narrator yeah absolutely and i think that's I something know. again like Roz chast is a great example for um taking real life observations and lists uh, and sort of turning them into something like a character saying them. And um, you can have somebody, you don't have to be the author of this list. It can be somebody else. Um, there's a lot of ways to change with the narrative and unreliable is, is one of them. 
for sure. Now I've got double title anxiety. I'm going to ask people Here. to list possible titles. List some in the chat. <laughs> the same, Tom. <laughs> All right, I can show you mine. Yeah. <laughs> so this is super rough. You're going to have to forgive me. I I realized I didn't. I it was a terrible time to get. I can't draw cooties, but I did. Cooties. Oh oh oh! I see. You, know, you know, you get a like. This is not my best. <laughs> But um, so here is mine, wish I had a double screen, but summer pleasures, get it guys, get it. <laughs> you probably do that a lot. Yeah. That's cool. Can you zoom in a hair more summer? Yes. And I cheated on the last panel. And this is what I mean by like writing down the list. I, I did, I decided to only have five pleasures. Can I read that out loud for people? Yeah. Yes, some, please might do. Be hard for you. Okay. So it says, seeing my neighbors walk their dogs in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yap, yap, yap. Lots of dog. Yeah. Even the yappy ones I like to see. And then fireflies. And it says, we're magic. Oh, we're magic. Look at how abstract that panel is. That's lovely. I know. I realized I was like, this is hard to draw. <laughs> <laughs> Soft serve lamps. Yes. Um, it's ice cream that glows. Is it a real? Yeah, it... my yeah. Have you ever seen the soft serve lamps? You've never seen them. It's real food. No, 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 no. It's oh. it's a lamp made oh, out of okay. that looks like a soft serve ice cream cone, a giant soft serve ice cream cone. Campfire my... dinners. Yeah, campfire dinners. Oh, that's so lovely. And then the last thing over two panels, this is yes. the cheeky panel, watching preschoolers hold hands as they walk in a chain in the park. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so pleasing, their little hands. <laughs> it's so wholesome, this list. It's so <laughs> wholesome. Wow. Yeah, but this is what's interesting. Yeah. Like, I would love to see other people's because it it's interesting what comes up, first of all, but also mm -hmm. none of us have the same list. This is mm -hmm. all such an individual thing. And so the character of your life and who your heart is, is in that list. Yeah. Yeah. And what you're feeling today, right? Because that list could be different tomorrow. Completely. Completely. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. So we could take a look at people's if. if yeah. Is anybody ready? I mean, no pressure, but I'm yeah. sure. I'm yeah. sure people are ready. I guarantee it. So if you are ready, actually, Summer, this is a good chance. Will you raise your Zoom hand? This may do nothing because lately Zoom, you, yeah. it's under, uh, like I just raised mine. Okay. Um, oh, I see. I don't know where. It's under reactions or maybe it's- Oh, there it is, right hand. Yeah, there, there we go. go. And, but weirdly, Zoom has been like really into uh, artificial intelligence. And it's, to me, it says, we've noticed you're not talking anymore. So we lowered your hand. I'm like, I don't want my hand lowered. Anyway, so it might, anyway. All right, so we have some people. Yeah, let's take a look. We have uh, Jen, Morris, John, Nikki, then Tim, and a few more after that. So I'll um, yeah. I'll ask them to mute, unmute and replace the spotlight and we can take a look. Hi, Jen. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> um, hi. I, hi. Can't, I can't believe I'm going first, but it's good. I can't see everybody else's fantastic work. So we're just going for it. Um, so I said six things that I would like to have done during COVID. Ooh. Yeah. Um, let me know if you can see. I'll just do the top two here. Ah. So I said, get kittens. Oh. Uh, that was my cat meowing in the background. Oh. Oh, I'm trying to get the light to stop. Yeah, it's hard with the iPad. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then I said, kiss a new girl. <gasps> <laughs> um, and then I said, travel to Ireland, travel to Georgia, sing indoors. Um, mm. and, uh, yeah. Sing indoors without a mask. Mm. Man. Um, and organize all my music. Oh, yeah. Yes. There you I go. See. I know so much about you now. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Great. Thank awesome. you so much. That's so good. Okay, we'll go to John and then Nikki, then Tim, then Walter. Here we go. Okay. Hi, guys. Uh, hey. Yeah, this is so much, so much fun. Um, I don't know how well you get, you can make this out, but uh, like my, so I, the title was uh, what, 
fuel, what gives me fuel. Mm -hmm. So waking up early. So I'm kind of doing this backwards with the sun. Second one is drawing, uh, yeah. drawing landscapes. Third one is walking in the woods. Mm. Fourth is talking, doing like a Zoom call with my brother. That mm -hmm. was the most challenging one because I couldn't, I wasn't quite sure how to like, you know, depict like, how do you depict you're talking to someone else on the phone, but like you're not in the same room. Yeah, anyway. that's good though. Uh, refrigerator full of food that I like to eat and then going out to eat for pizza. Pizza. So I so, just love that co in comics, pizza looks you just like, I know that's pizza. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, this this one I'll I'll get down. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, John. Okay, Thank we'll you. go to Nikki next and then Tim, then Walter. Here's Nikki. Hi, Hi everyone. Oops, wrong way. Reverse screen. There we go. Thank you for this. It's good timing. Um, my title was It's the Simple Things in Life That Make Me Happy. Yes. Beautiful title. I'll just move the spotlight. Um, repetitive mark making is so stimmy and makes me feel happy. Mm -hmm. I've just been doing that this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, drawing circles <laughs> and making dots just makes me happy. Oh my God. I love that. Mm -hmm. Drawing and painting from life is such a stim, and I feel like a real artist when I do it, and that makes me feel happy and like a success. And the bird's going, what? She's drawing us again? <laughs> <laughs> cool, sunny days and walking on the beach, picking up shells and other interesting objects makes me happy. And my red Art Deco collecting basket makes me so happy every time I see or use it. It seems to make other people happy too. Mm. I may have to start a book on things that make me happy and the simple pleasures in life. Amazing. So that was so cool. And I, I, um, good activity because I'm struggling with um, autistic burnout at the moment. And I had just yeah. this morning sat down and thought, I need to fill my bucket. I need to mm. do stuff. And I couldn't think of a single thing. Yes. <laughs> So um, this has been wonderful. Thank you. Oh, good. Yeah. Awesome, Nikki. Thanks. We'll go to Tim next. All hey, right. Tim. Um, Hi, Tim. Oh, yeah. Testing. There we go. One, two. Am I hey, Tim. On? Greetings. See you. All right. All right. Let's see. Oh, man. So, um. Here's my uh, list uh, of things that give me pleasure. Playing the tuba, drawing. I'm drawing a list. <laughs> I'm walking. Uh, online learning. <laughs> I'm learning about lists. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I like to view nature. And being with friends. Yeah, beautiful. Oh my gosh. These lists are thank all you. Your pleasure. Tim, thank you so much. Thank you for yeah. coming. <laughs> You're welcome. Awesome. Thanks, Tim. Okay, we'll go to Walter. I know Walter's there. Allison after that, Michaela, Kate, Mora after that. Oops, there's Walter. Hey. Hey. This was fun. Um, I called mine cheap thrills. Yes. Um, yes. Because I'm pretty cheap. So one is morning coffee, and to everyone's chagrin, I drink instant. Uh, wet sidewalks outside the window. Love that ever since I grew up in Brooklyn. Mm. Hawaiian shirts from Value Village. Yes. <laughs> Good deals. Uh, peanut butter on just about anything. <laughs> Spreadsheets that balance. <laughs> yep. And Selkie, who a lot of people that saw know my 21 year old cat. Oh, 21. Wow. Yeah, so that's what he does most of the time. Yeah, I would too. I was <laughs> this was a lot of fun. I, I really liked yeah. it. And I really liked the examples you showed too, yours and everybody else's. This was yeah. great. This is so great. This awesome, Walter. Pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much. All right, we're going to go to Allison, Michaela, Kate, Maura. Here we go. 
Okay, hello. Me. Um, okay, first I have, oh, simple pleasures. Oh, I can't read it backwards. The dust smell of cat hair. Mm. <laughs> Tomatoes coming into ripeness. Laying in the dappled sun. Oh, man. My mom's egg salad. Sloppy <laughs> and goofy. The perfect socks for the day. And it says, oh, feels so right. <laughs> and the knowledge I have more time. Yay. Uh -huh. So great. Trick panel oh. at the end. I love trick panels. You are a list master for that because that's something you can always do. I definitely only had five things and then I had an extra spot. So. <laughs> See? But you problem solved, right? You filled yeah. it. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Allison. Here's Michaela. Where is she? Hey. hey. Um, okay. So I titled mine Things Keeping Me Afloat Four Summers into COVID. Um, I have Peg Always. That's my dog. Mm. Um, and then I've got Anthony's Jokes. That's my partner. <laughs> And I have VHS tapes of comfort movies. So I recently, uh, so Anthony fixed up a uh, old TV that we could hook up a VHS player to. And there's something about the nostalgic factor and the comfort of that. Wow. Um, it's just really magical. <laughs> uh, and then a, a cheese board. Um, we get cheese boards from our local cheese shop a lot. And I love that. That is so uh, happy. Yeah. A simple pleasure, M and M's. I love M and M's. Mm -hmm. And then hour plus long phone calls with my mom. Oh, we talk forever, and That's she lives true. close to me, and I see her <laughs> frequently. But we'll just talk on the phone for hours. Oh. <laughs> That's your love language. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are amazing self portraits. Yeah, these little windows into everybody's life. It's so cool. Thanks, Michaela. We'll go to Kate next, then more than Judith. Here we go. Hi. Hi. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if like I'm I'm just wishing that I could see more detail in everybody else's. Yeah. Really. Um, so I'm gonna try to uh try to do the best. This is like yeah. weird to work this fast, but uh that I get into focus here oh we're trying to get to the focus okay look of understanding yeah oh, nice. standing from a stranger mm. huh. the drawing comes out good it's a yak <laughs> putting your head underwater mm -hmm. really did that at brighton beach today take oh. the way this this covers going to the beach in new york city like in general and it was really cold. Kalamata, Kalamata olives. Mm. Uh, I, that is not what they look like. I started ink just because to try to fix it. What does it say? Lying in bed for a while after you get up. Mm -hmm. And I'm, this probably is my favorite one. Yeah. Petting it <laughs> Oh, I love petting dogs on the street too. Right? They're so, you know... This, there's a you know these are this is just kind of like the randomness of connection you know so great oh my gosh <laughs> awesome Kate thank you so much Kate yeah all right we'll go to Mara next then Judith and Savannah let's see well I didn't do mine on paper I did it on my computer can I share my screen um is that not possible takes a minute can okay you... then skip you can just skip me let's... okay we'll come back all right. No problem. All right. We'll go to Judith real fast. Let's see. There we go. Hey, Judith. Hi. Oop. Can you unmute, Judith? Judith, you're muted. See if you can unmute. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I'm traveling. I'm in other people's homes and my Zoom isn't working. There's a worldwide problem with Zoom. I don't know if other people have had it, but you have to update Zoom and they're not letting us do it. So anyway, I'm doing this on my phone and I hope that you can see it, but I want to thank everybody for doing this. It really helps me in traveling to have these gatherings. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go like this and tell me if you could see it. 
Can you see the pages? Yeah. No. Okay. So let me see. Um, I can't tell what you can see. The, the first one is um, drawing people I see in cafes. I really love that. I'm trying to see how to do this right. Um, uh, watching cat videos in the middle of the night because I'm, I'm kind of an insomniac and it really helps me. I'm sorry I can't show this well. And then I have uh, being in a hot tub at night in moonlight. Mm. The people who I'm with have a hot tub and that's nice. Being with my friend and walking her dog, which we did every day of, of COVID. And being in museums. And the last one is eating pasta. I'm sorry that I can't show it very well, but um, I see it though. It's great. It's really yeah. messy. It's really messy. I didn't care. I did it in ink. What could you do? <laughs> I did too. But, uh, Good. You know what's interesting is when you started to say the the list, I immediately thought of things I hate. Yeah. Well, and then that's... Said, yeah. I I don't know why. I mean, sometimes it helps to do that. Then you laugh at it, and it's not so bad. But when you said, "Oh, do things you like," I thought, "Oh." positivity i have to be positive <laughs> but i'm really glad you, i'm glad you had us do that that was a good thing a really well, good i thing. was to be honest gonna have us do uh pet peeves okay and, uh, uh but i thought it's so much nicer to think about pleasure and i thought as an introductory thing it would absolutely be but absolutely. i highly recommend doing things you hate and uh, <laughs> it's a great that's also a great subject okay well thank you so much and uh, we have a place where we could take a picture a good picture and then send it so that'll okay. be good yeah all right thanks judith thank you thank we'll you go, we'll go to savannah next here we go hey hey so i have things that keep me sane yes and i did it in pink i don't know if you let me Come back a little bit. I don't know if we can really see it because my light is so bright. There you go. But we see. have, yeah. So let's stay like this. So yeah. we have the first panel drawing nothing, drawing nothing like sitting down with some ideas. Mm -hmm. Panel two, going to the movies, AMC theaters, obviously, because they're mm -hmm. the best <laughs> in the in the world. Then we have video games, mostly The Sims 4, because we can cause chaos. Um, a good sweet cupcakes are my personal favorite with buttercream frosting. We have, for the second to last, tea and writing. Still have to finish that one story that I've been working on for 10 years. Um, and the <laughs> final one is Mommy and Me with Gino and the cat always coming into the mix. And it's me and my mom in burrito blankets with oh. my dad on top of my mom. Oh, that's so sweet. I love it. Thank you. This is awesome. amazing. Thanks, Savannah. Thank you. We'll go to Andrew next, Linda, Kate, and then Bill, and then Umi. Let's see. Here we go. Hi. Hi. Um, so I've got, my list is called, Is a Small Piece of Heaven. So the first one is drawing, drawing some comics. Second one is board games with my wife. <laughs> so she uh, says, uh, it's hard to read backwards, but she, first I get income, then I go here, then I get a bonus and 20 points. She's really good. She always beats me. <laughs> uh, hot coffee in the fall. This mm -hmm. is my Brussels mug. That's a special mug for me because uh, the graphic novel I'm working on is based in Brussels. Mm -hmm. So I get to drink from that cup only when I'm working on the comic. Mm -hmm. um, cold coffee in the summer, the opposite. I want my kids are laughing and big <laughs> clouds on blue skies. Mm. Cool. Wonderful. Great doodles, too. I love those drawings. I know. Those drawings are great. Thanks, Anne. The Thank titles. You. The titles are great. Uh huh. Thank you. Okay, we'll go to Linda next. Hey, Linda. Hi. This, these are things that have joined the light life that has joined my garden yes so i started really generally and then i went more specific thanks to your excellent prompts Yay. so i started with a dragonfly but that is in fact a blue dash or dragonfly <laughs> um, the wasp is a gold marked wasp who's this these will look more beautiful when i add color but i think the outlines are there um the bumblebee i got a, a rare 
American bumblebee here. I get lots of other bumblebees, but I've got, and they're so furry. So this is a very furry American bumblebee. Uh, the beautiful Eastern swallowtails, mm. uh, the five line skink, and the American bullfrog. Mm. So specific that you can tell that it's female because the ear is the same size as the eye. Mm. Mm. Wonderful. <laughs> what a detail. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks, Linda. We'll go to Kate, then Bill, then Umi, then Chris, then Jen. All right, here we go. Hello. Hello. Okay, mine, are, I called it chills. <laughs> Wind across my skin. Mm. Um, soft sounds that other people make while I'm doing something else and that's somebody stamping books at the library. Zinnias, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> cherries that are already pitted and halved, I guess, too. Mm -hmm. Um, when my cat hums in her sleep oh. mm -hmm. and ink washes with a brush. Mm. Oh. I, I love the sounds. Too. Yeah. So many good sounds in that. It's just <laughs> lovely. Thank you. It was fun. Thank you. That ink wash panel. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll go to Bill next. Hey, Bill. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I mine's called Six Things That Make Noise. And yeah. so first I have the Telecaster, which is loved by both cowboys and punks. And these are <laughs> all things that are in my room right now. Um, I have a Super Strat. It says, I got this because it can play the final note of the Don't Stop Believing solo. For, <laughs> those 24 frets. Only the final Acoustic. Uh, it looks boring, but it gets used the most. Wah pedal, it makes boring stuff sound bitching. Uh, I have the Flying V. It looks the coolest, but it never gets played. And finally, uh, the Vox amp. And this is Dad, Turn It Down. <laughs> That's funny. That's great. Oh, my God. Love it. Oh, that's great. Wow. What a room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go to Umi, who I see is hiding there, but I'm not sure if Umi's ready to come on screen. If so, yes. If not, we'll go to Chris. We'll give Umi two seconds. There we go. Hey, uh, hi. Hi. Uh, so I did, hi. Uh, so I did something called things I share with my housemates. Oh, Jesus, what's wrong with it? Uh, it's blurry. All blurry. Is it due you got, to iPod? You got to change your background, Umi. My God. Uh, could you give me some time or I'm just going to like pause it on Facebook, well, not Facebook, in Instagram or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Bye. Thanks, Amy. All right. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a title because I didn't, I left, I didn't have, I forgot to put that up there. That's okay. <laughs> My things are, I like to find blocks of wood in the trash at my makerspace. Um, oh. Oh. I'm great with them. I like well-risen bread, like when you're going to put it in the oven and you can tell that it's already risen a little bit. Bill will like this one. Um, <laughs> I like playing notes without buzzing on the guitar. <laughs> um, <laughs> I like it when my son shares something with me and here he's saying, I wish Gamelon was six days a week because he plays <laughs> Gamelon. Um, I like looking at a drawing from the night before that I thought was terrible and then it's mm. not so bad. You know, uh, yes. And I like it when my wife puts her hand on my shoulder and mm. she has, she has oh. ready. <laughs> wow. Great. So Thank great. You. Thank you. These are wonderful drawings. I love them. Thank you. Thanks, the block Chris. of wood. That's such a such a little detail. I love that. Awesome. We're gonna go to Jen next. Thanks, Chris. Hey, how are you? Hey. Summer, I haven't seen you in a long time. Um, I think I the last time I seen you might have been a mocha. So really? Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's been a while. Hi. <laughs> um, so mine was called Soul Foods, and I decided not to write the categories there. But um, it was uh, sounds of cat purrs oh. and their mm. tongues and their paws mm. and their fur. And then my bed with all of its pillows and fluffy comforter. 
Mm -hmm. And I didn't add color to this. I'll do that later. Uh, different shapes and colors and smells of flowers. Mm -hmm. The sound of kids' laughter. Um, the rain when you can hear like the syncopation and like the way that it sort of changes the world around it. And then the different colors in the different natural colors in the animals. Mm -hmm. It's so good, oh, yeah. Thank you. Right. So much beautiful drawings. Thank you. Thanks, Jen. We'll go to Jim next, then Michaela, then Edgar. Here's Jim. Hello. Hi. So I, um, well, I drew the grid and I left space above it. And then I wrote the title in before you said, don't write the title in. So I got a little ahead of myself. But anyway, okay. the <laughs> things that make me happy are a nice breeze. Uh, Vienna fingers, a, a good golf shot, uh, good mileage, <laughs> uh, getting something done, and then a warm shower. Mm. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, these are thank, great. Thank you very much. This thank fun. you. I love I love a uh, good mileage, Jim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like the Vienna fingers. Yeah, those are good. Those are great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll go to Michaela next. Here we go. Okay. I drew I drew something called Things Is Illegal in New York, but not always good for me. <laughs> So I have, um, what do I actually have? I have the sun, my dog, coffee, weed, South Park, and Leona <laughs> Messi. Amazing. Who's, who's, a, who's a big star right now in Florida or everywhere, I think, because he's playing for Miami. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. South Park is only legal in New York a little while longer. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, counting the days. Quick. Yeah, so funny. All right, um, Edgar is next. Here we go. Well, yeah. thank you, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> I decided to the six objects that I decided to do were six plays that I wrote and or produced and directed, and wow. uh, and this was actually on National Public Radio, Rod Rocket Space Commander. <laughs> a multi-layered comedy. Here's Rod Rocket with his young assistant, Sparks Angstrom. And there's the beautiful Princess Anno Domini. And they'll have many adventures. Then to go to Kiss from a Little Old Lady. This old lady can't seem to remember who she is, but she will figure in Officer Joe's life and his young wife, Liza, who's pregnant. Then we go to Mr. Lincoln and the Young Ones. And it, this begins on the last day of Lincoln's life, and he's dead. And he says, why aren't you at my funeral, young one? And the little girl says, I'm blind. And mama said, I just get in the way. So anyway, what? only children can see him, and he learns from them. Anyway, <laughs> then we have more than just case histories. This play takes place in a, uh, 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 an asylum for non-dangerous people who think they're somebody else. And the doctor of the asylum is uh, arguing with Mr. Poe, Mr. Wells, you must stop arguing. And there's Edgar, not this Edgar, uh, and Orson. <laughs> and then at the end, you find a big surprise about the doctor of the asylum. Then this one has not been produced, so any wealthy producers out there can have it. <laughs> this is Mr. Bones. And this 10-year-old boy who's bullied at school finds out that the science room skeleton talks. And Mr. Bones, wow. please teach me how to box. Because it <laughs> turns out he was a boxer in, when he was alive. And then mm -hmm. the last one is the Empress and the Rodeo Clown. You know, golly, Miss Garnet. And she has contempt for him because he's a rodeo clown. But uh, something interesting will happen. But anyway, I, I th thanks for the encouragement because these are all on an old computer and I have to get them off before they're lost forever. Right. So thank you. <laughs> all right. Wow. Thank you. That was amazing. Wow. Thank you very much. Awesome, Edgar. Thank you. We're going to go to Marlene next. Uh, yeah. Good morning. 
Good morning. <laughs> this has been a, a really um, making me think laterally. Um, mine is called Five Sense Dreaming. Ooh. <laughs> so the senses are touch, smell, sight, taste, and so on. Yes. Um, I'm using superheroes, as you can see. Yeah. So uh, the first one is oh. feeling. Feeling uh, the warmth of the sun is what the superhero is feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, the fuzzy feeling. Uh, the next one is smell. And so uh, this is the smell. He smells after the fall of soft rain. Mm. Uh, the next one is a superhero a lady. Uh, she sees nature uh, from a height. So she looks down and sees all the beauty of nature. Oh. Uh, next one is taste. Um, he's tasting, I'm sorry, listening. He's listening to the sweet kiss of the wind on his cheeks. <laughs> then lastly, um, the superhero flying through the air and uh, he's, he's tasting the, the lovely taste of saltiness of his sweat. <laughs> mm. <gasps> wow. Great. I mean, this is a perfect example of the, how elastic lists can be because you can have characters who have lists, right? And we I, I actually, yeah, I, I had the su superheroes in mind mm -hmm. and then I had to um, adapt them to the idea that, um, it, you know, like the dreaming part of it. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, you know, we are all in touch with our senses. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I scripted it to, su to suit the, the topic and the heroes. Wow. Mm. Great. Well done. Thank you. Thanks, Marlene. Thanks, Tom. You bet. All right, let's see what Mishka's got. All right, am I? Um, can I share a screen, or can do you want me to do my trick? Uh, if you're not ready, hang on a second. All right, there. Try it. All right, let me see if that works. Sweet. Um, wait, I got to share a screen and then go over to the thing I want to share. <laughs> there it is. Do you see it? Wow. Yeah. Okay, so I don't want to tell you the tale until the end. So these are things that make me happy. Oh, wait, did it go? Oh, no, I, I think I did that. Sorry, try again. Sorry about that. Okay, I'll try again. Um, my first thing is I like to save things from their landfill doom. Mm, yes. And I like to notice things in the sky and let other pedestrians know to look up. <laughs> <laughs> a rainbow. Oh, wait, I didn't tell you what I talked. I said to the, the little object, someone will need you. I promise. No. They're just trash. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. There's a blimp, rainbow, full moon, sunset. Okay. Finding a lost item, then going out of my way to reunite it with someone. Mm -hmm. Singing hits from the 80s back to the jazz area while riding my bike around town. So <laughs> it's, it's so happy. <laughs> uh, for some reason, whenever I turn on to Claremont Avenue, I start singing the song by uh, the police young teacher, <laughs> the subject. Um, but also, like, it had to be you. And why don't we do it in the road? Oh my gosh. I don't sing well. So it works really well when I'm biking around because I have no idea how much people are not enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, laughing so hard I, can, I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love and the ambulance came to save me all right and then um making a new friend especially when I discovered that I kind of already knew them mm. right. oh. the, these were things that made me happy but I decided these were things that I do better than you <laughs> 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 oh you. my gosh Bravo. nice to meet you <laughs> All right. All right. We'll go to Beverly next, Melanie, Christy, and then Beverly. That'll be it. Okay. Here we go. Thank you, Mishka. Sure. 
So is it me? You're gone. Yeah. You're on, lady. Yes. Okay. 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 I guess. Okay. So I like morning swims. Mm. And these mm. are the things I enjoy. I like walks in the park. Also like reading a good book on a beach under umbrellas as I relax mm. in my rented chair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like chocolate covered almonds. I love the Christmas holidays. And the I love w- when my kids visit. That's me mm. in the middle. They're all taller than I am. Oh, I love that portrait. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome, Beverly. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go to Melanie. Hi. Hello. So my list is um, fun things to to share. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the first one is uh, kitty trills. So my little kitty around the corner going. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, opening a new game with someone and you're popping out all the pieces and putting them in the sippy <laughs> bags. Oh, so that's fine. Um, fancy beverages of all sorts. Um, weird roadside attractions and it says you know don't worry no one died smiley <laughs> face and it's a crash airplane um and then monsoon season down here and i live in arizona for anybody who is in this area one one area will be totally dry and another area is totally flooded so you can walk your dog your dog will be dry and you won't get wet <laughs> <laughs> and someone else making breakfast so Ooh. everything Surprise, surprise eggs, surprise hash browns, surprise bacon. <laughs> oh, so good. I Thanks, love it. Andy. Awesome. All right, we got three more. Christy, Beverly, Michael. Here's Christy. There we go. Hey, Christy. Hi there. Um, so Hi. I I did calming Christy. Mm. Um, let me just move this okay. okay. So the first one says a sweet drink. I don't know if you can see it or not. You'll have to tell me. Yes. Okay. A sweet drink. Making friends with squirrels. Cracker. (laughs) Um, New pens and notebooks. Mm. Uh, Baking new things. Mm -hmm. Uh, Taking off my bra at the end of the day. (laughs) It says, I'm free. (laughs) Um, And rainy days inside while Skelly snores under the couch. So that's my cat and her safe space is under the couch. Mm. Um, As long as she goes under there during a storm, then she's completely happy and fine as soon as she goes under and she has the tiniest little snore. (laughs) Oh, that's me. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, go to Beverly, then Michael. Here's Beverly. Hey. Okay, I don't usually get to make it because it's four o'clock here on Friday, but I'm on holiday. So this is uh, Cottage Days. So my first one is The Sound of the Waves. Mm-hmm. My second one is Floating in My Floaty. Mm-hmm. And then all my kids and their kids who, who have been together at the cottage right now. Well, no, not not. We're not all together now. Some have left. Mm-hmm. Laughing at funny movies with my partner or friends. Reading a book that I really enjoy at the end of the day. And reading to my grandkids before bed. And it's they argue about whose turn it is to pick. <sighs> I love how happy you look at the last one. You're like, yes, yes. Yeah. Fight over me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Thank you, Cynthia. Well, thank you. That was um, that was really fun. I've done some lists, but I didn't even know it was a thing. So um, yeah, now I know it is a thing. <laughs> and keep going. <laughs> Definitely. Thanks. Thanks, Beverly. All right, Michael. I, hey, Michael. Hi. I didn't finish because I was so nervous because Summer was my first comics teacher <laughs> that I forgot how to draw. So here's here's what I and I'm wearing my Doc Ewer mask that Carl oh. sent me. Um okay. You see it? Can you see this? Yeah. I don't have a title yet. And I, I can't read it backwards. So you want us to read it? Yeah, would you read it, Tom? When when Phoebe eats all of her breakfast, and there's mm. that cheering Michael in the back. Getting lost in thought and nobody pulls me out. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Quiet everybody, he's he's thinking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nothing on my to-do list. So Love there's it. a lot. 
Yeah. A special panel. Scrabble with mom. Oh, I love that one. Every day my old dog isn't dead. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, and then Michael gets us with the last one, which says finishing a comic. <laughs> oh. What was the R name? Yeah. <laughs> Way to put a rose on it. Awesome. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. I'm glad your dog isn't dead either. Oh, uh, I, I haven't checked lately. Okay. I, I do a, a proof of life test because to see if she's breathing, you know, every morning. Mm. In, so oh baby i've been following the progress and thinking of her on instagram Aww. thank you thanks michael all right i'm gonna replace spotlight with summer thank you summer that was amazing i just want to say that like a, none of these lists were the same right yeah they all yeah. were original and they all told me so much about you but also I'm just curious, did anybody like, were they surprised by what they had to draw? Because sometimes these lists ask us to draw things that we don't normally draw. Mm. Um, and that's also good practice. Um, fireflies in the dark for me. Mm. I yeah. like that we got to see things like six plays, uh, you know, I yeah. like, I, I'm glad we got to see a cheese plate. There was a lot of good, uh, Some good stuff. Yeah. A lot of things I was happy to see because there's so, so much, uh, darkness in the world lately but i was happy i agree so yes. much positivity yes so much positivity but it's um there was just so many little things that i was like oh my god the, like feeding the squirrel with the cracker you know it's just uh -huh. there's so many really um all of these are sort of shorthand for your life but they're collectively they they paint a portrait and it's just i loved it, it made me so happy Cool. Tell us one more time when we're going to see where we can get your current book, when to get your next book and mm -hmm. when to see you next. And then I'm going to have everyone unmute and say thank you. Yeah. Um, so you can get uh, all the sad songs and um, paper pencil life. I have a new issue coming out in September and you can pre-order that all on my Etsy shop, which is linked in my many places in um both uh, my website and also on Instagram. Um, and my new book won't be out for a long time. So uh, okay. just uh, have faith in me. <laughs> <laughs> will you have, will you have uh, uh, Paper Pencil Life at SPX? Yes, I will. And I'll be at hey. SPX. So come okay. and say hi if you're there. Awesome. All right. I'm going to ask everybody to unmute themselves. I'm going to go to gallery view. I don't know if that affects anybody else. Oh, wait, I have to remove spotlight. Anyway, Let's all thank Summer. Everybody go have a nice day wherever you are. Thank you so much. Have to stay thank indoors. you. Have a nice thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank really enjoyed thank it. Thank you. That was fantastic. Yeah, thank you. Great, great, time. Fun. great work, Shep. Thanks. Amazing. Thank you, Tom, as well. Thank and you. Summer. Oh, hey. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, um, thanks, Shelly. Nice to see you amazing. again. Bye, yeah, everybody. Yeah, you too. Amazing. <laughs> what a pleasure. Everybody was great. Thank you so much. It was really fun. So great. fun.